Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and this is the American Alligator. <laughs> All right. There's a wild American Alligator, and this is as close as you're going to get to a dragon or a dinosaur today. If you feel him, he is solid bone and muscle. This is exciting. Look at those teeth on him. Whew. Definitely would not want to get bit by this thing. He is a beast. And the eyes are designed for their whole body to be able to sink underwater and just their eyes and their nose come up. I tell you what, this little guy is a bundle of muscle. Grabbing him, he was thrashing and going nuts. And he, he's, only, he's only four feet stretched out, maybe a little bit less, and he is pure muscle. That's amazing. Now this is a big part of Louisiana's, Louisiana's tourism because they have swamp tours and alligator tours and all kinds of stuff for people to come see these gators all around Louisiana. And a full-grown male can reach a size of 16 feet, and that is just huge. A female can reach 10 feet maximum, but that's very rare to see in the wild now. Oh my goodness. Look, you hear him croaking? He's still at that age where they're going to make that uh, uh, sound, and as he gets bigger, it's going to become a uh, and a hiss. It's going to become a deeper growl than that little chirp. And that little chirp is used when they're young, the first year of their life, the mother will stay in the area around them. Oh my goodness. There's another one right there. This could be his brother or sister. Don't worry, I promise we're gonna let him go. And if you look at this on their eyes, if I just gently push his eyes down. Can you put your eyes down? If you can see it, when they close their eye, they have this little flap on their eye. It's a membrane. I think it's called a nictitating membrane that keeps their eyes safe underwater while they're going to where they don't get any sticks or anything to hit them. This is the ultimate predator of Louisiana. And a full-grown gator, the only thing that's going to hurt them is another gator when it comes to other animals. Whew. Look at him. He is a beast. Look at the claws on him. He has got some massive claws. And look at the web feet. That helps them move underwater. And they swim very well. And they can grip the bottom with those claws and walk along the bottom. Oh man. That's an awesome animal. Favorite animal ever. Just like a big lizard, I'm going to try to flip him. And he's perfectly fine but this is just gonna calm him down a little bit. You see that? He's a lot more relaxed right now because of what I just did. See that? I'm not gripping him hard. Just sit there. All right. That is a living dinosaur. It's so amazing to, to get to handle one of these animals, but definitely don't do what I just did. Don't go and grab a wild gator. Um, he could give you, see those teeth? That could give me a nasty bite. That would send me to the hospital. I'd definitely get stitches. Um, my dad has taught me how to handle these gators. So definitely don't go and try to grab a wild gator. It's not safe, but you can always enjoy them just like that one was or is. He's still right there. We can always enjoy them just like that, just by looking at them and watching them and we can enjoy them like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.